Hey everybody, here is the Q Computer TV Box Home Theater PC. This also known as the um, Parts Home Theater Computer. Um, it's been about a week now since I did the clean out of all three systems, including this system, Mid Tower Deluxe, and the Black Max. When um, I plugged this system in, or right before I plugged everything up, I noticed that the power supply had a back capacitor inside of it. So, um, here I have this thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and replace that back capacitor. So anyways, it's going to get the cover off and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, I removed the cover off the system. I'm going to show my line here. You might be able to see that capacitor. You might be able to see the top bulge on it. Anyways, let's go and get this power slot and have a look inside. Yes, there's one back capacitor on the secondary side. And you're probably thinking, oh, this is one of the cheap capacitors in this power supply. I don't know, it failed. Actually, I've recapped this thing. Before, I recapped it and installed EMI filtering components. Now, I tell you, you guys are going to be in for a big surprise to see what kind of brand of capacitor this thing failed. Okay, I got the power supply removed and the cover taken off. There's a cover. Anyways, you can probably see that bulging capacitor. It's right in the middle of the video the screen. It's right there, dead center. It's that green capacitor. Have a careful look at it. You might notice the K indentation on top. This, folks, is a Senyo capacitor. And Senyo is one of the better brands. But I believe I know what caused this poor guy to fail. You might see there's a resistor right behind him. And that resistor has gotten pretty hot. It's a dummy load resistor. Pretty typical for a power supply because switch mode power supplies had to have at least a small bit of load just to turn on and run. So they put the dummy load resistor there to run it. We have one for the 3.3 volt line. There's one over here for the 12 volt line. I'm not sure where the one for 5 volts is. Don't really know. Yeah, I, actually it's behind. It's on the other side of, the, of this Sanyo in the, in the center. The wires are in the way. You can see it right there. There's your dummy load resistor. This is a Diablotech PSDA 320M Microatex power supply. I got this thing in August 2010 and immediately out of the box I went ahead and um, replaced the fan, installed a long filter to replace the bypassed coil for the EMI filtering and then later on I replaced all the um, main caps on the secondary side, these three the two Senyos and the Jamicon back here. This thing only has one capacitor per rail. I prefer to see two, but so far this thing has not had any issues. I also went to replace the um, undersized 330 microfarad caps with 470s. And installed this X capacitor right here. I've been in this thing quite a bit. And I believe if I never touched this thing internally it would not still be working today a matter of fact it wasn't showing any signs of problems I just happened to see this cap starting to bulge while I was looking in the back of this thing after I cleaned it out last week so that means that I'm going to replace that capacitor just want to show you guys this first time I've ever seen a um, senior capacitor fail though it can happen as a matter of fact, I've seen many Rubicons fail in some Dell computers due to overheating. And I believe overheating was what caused this capacitor to bulge as well. So anyways, have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.